last thing I think about before I go to bed and it's the first thing that's on my mind when I wake up. <laughs> It's a very intense sport and you know yeah the, the runs are only four seconds but you're going over 320 miles an hour in those four seconds and just that level of um, competition and intensity that's what I thrive on that's what like feeds my soul. You know having a father like I do I didn't want to come in like hey look at me I'm out here I'm a girl and you know, I got this big sponsor. I, that's not how I run my life, and that's not how I was brought up. I'm in Hawaii for a seminar with all of our distributors throughout the world with Paul Mitchell. And I'm sitting there, and a gentleman walks up to me and says, I know you. So I'm thinking he's going to say Patron Tequila or Paul Mitchell, or I saw you on this stage. He says, you're Alexis's father. I go, yes, I am. He goes, well, nice to meet you, sir. I'm a dad, too. Very proud of your daughter. I mean, everybody in my family works for Paul Mitchell, everyone. I wanted to do that, you know. I, I wanted to, to learn about our family business and, and um, you know, really get, I guess, the respect of my father, too. You know, I want to make him proud. Every little girl wants to make their dad proud. <laughs> when Alexis, she was a kid, I bought her one of those little cars, those little Jeeps that, you know, you pull a deal to start the Briggs and Strat motor up. And uh, she'd drive that thing around like, uh, like a bat out of hell. Like, whoa, she'd go all over the place, my God, and go out fast. So I thought, this girl's built for speed. She was willing to take the time to learn how to do it properly. You know, she wanted to jump out there and, and just start racing. She wanted to make sure when she came out racing, she was good at it. She knew what she was doing, you know. So she was she willing to put in the work, the time, the dedication. And she also has the fire, though. I had no history in, in drag racing. No one taught me it. I had never watched anybody in my family race. So I wanted to start from the ground up, but my goal was always Nitro Funny Car. I, I took the proper steps to get to that point and learn everything I could, slowly but surely. So when I got to this point, I felt like I was ready and I had earned my stripes out here and the respect of the other racers. I've been a single mom for a while. Um, I was on my own, just racing, trying, you know, just focusing on my job and and, and my daughter, and um, that was like my whole world. And then last year, late September, at the Dallas race, my dad was out there watching me, and um, a friend of his called him up on the phone, and, and he said, "JP, when you get home this week, and I know you're traveling, let's hang out this week in a little bit." I said, cool, Jesse, but I can't because my daughter, Alexis, is racing in her nitro car. She's top fuel now in uh, Dallas. I drove up to the race and just to see him and then uh, met, just met her. And it was like, wow, that girl's awesome. I don't know. Neither one of us seemed to do anything slow. <laughs> we both go full, full throttle with everything we do. Um, and we relate on that level as well. So. Um, yeah, so we're engaged and we're going to be getting married soon. Being able to spend quality time on the weekends with my future wife at the drag races doesn't suck. <laughs> okay. I have a, a huge team, about 10 guys that work on the car. Uh, crew chief and assistant crew chief and um, I pack my own parachutes I fill my fresh air bottle but other than that I'm I'm a driver <laughs> when it rattled it rattled you a little the inside but you did a great job of just easing it back over to the center you did a great job you can't make one mistake one mistake and you're going home that day you have to be perfect all day every day to win in this sport you don't get an extra lap to make up for a pit mistake. You get that one run, it's do or die every time you go out there.